Thanks for tuning in to CyberSalt's Computer Tutorials channel. I'm Tim Davis. Trend Micro recently reported that Apple is no longer going to be issuing security patches or updates for its QuickTime player for Windows operating system. This after two new critical vulnerabilities were discovered. Now for those of you that know how to remove QuickTime from your Windows computer, do so right away and help get the word out by passing this video along to others. If you're unsure of or don't know how to remove QuickTime, then let's head on over to the computer and I'll show you not only how to do so, but I'll show you a free program that you can use in place of QuickTime Player. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to remove QuickTime Player from Windows 10. The steps are similar in other versions of Windows, but the words describing those steps may vary in some ways. And if you find that's the case with the version of Windows that you're using, I invite you to write out those differences and paste them in a comment below, and then I'll copy them and paste them in the video description for others to use. And in fact, don't forget to check, maybe somebody's already done it for the version that you're using. So the first step is to go to the control panel for your Windows install. And in Windows 10, I find that by going to the search the web in Windows bar, typing in control panel, and when that app shows up at the top, I click on it. And now I want to go to Programs and Features. Once we're there, I'm going to go up in the top right corner to the search bar, and I'm going to type in just quick. You could type in QuickTime, but uh, here this will bring up all the programs that have Quick in their names. And there you go, QuickTime 7. So click on that, right click, and select uninstall or you could click on that and click on uninstall up here it'll ask if you're sure and yes you are ask for permission to remove that yes and there you go quicktime player has been removed that's all that you need to do. Now I also mentioned in the intro to this video that there is a free program that you can use to take the place of QuickTime. To find that, open up a browser and go to mpc-hc.org and I'll post that link in the description for this video. When you get to that page, what you want to do next is click on Downloads. And at the Downloads section, you'll see that there are two options. I suggest downloading the installer, but one is for 32-bit Windows and the other is for 64-bit Windows. And if you're not sure which uh, version of Windows you have, here's how to find out. Once again, we're going to click in the search box there. We'll go back to Control Panel. And then we're going to go to the System link. System. And there, when system opens up, you'll see information. And right there under system type, you'll see either 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, my version is 64-bit. So what I would do is close this control panel. I would click on the installer for 64-bit Windows. I would then download this installer and pay attention to what, ad uh, what address or location on your drive that you're downloading this to. In fact, I'm going to put it in a folder here that I have that's called delete and I will save that. Once that program has downloaded, you can click and run it. Ask, it will ask you for permission to run that program. Say yes. I speak English. We'll go ahead and install. I'm going to install the icon and the translations and I'm going to install it for all users on my computer. And there's the review. I'll click install. The program gets installed and now you have the option to launch it right away. So let's click that. We'll finish. And there's the program ready to use. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set Media Player Classic to be the default player for MOV files. That's QuickTime files. To do that, go to View, click, left click on there and then go all the way down the bottom to Options. 
Now you can scroll down through the file extensions here, but you'll see uh, near the top here, at least in this case, QuickTime Movie MOV. Now watch, if I click to select that box, I get a message that, uh, that Media Player Classic is not running with enough privileges that I should click Run as Administrator. And so that's easy to do. I'm going to click OK and I'll click Run as Administrator. I'm going to say yes for permission. And now I'm going to select QuickTime Movie and I'm just going to go Apply. Now you may want to use this Media, pl uh, media Player uh, for other types of, audio, of video files and audio files. I really like it because it's light and uh, it's not big like um, some of the other media players and, and Windows media player that comes with Windows. So I usually just select them all and somewhere there'll be a checkbox to associate with all. I go apply and uh, but only do that if you don't have other favorite uh, audio and video players that you want to use. But this is the one I use for everything. You click OK close out of that and there you have it we've removed QuickTime player from a Windows 10 machine and installed media player classic as a replacement for something to play QuickTime files and maybe other audio and video files so I hope that was helpful thanks for watching if it was helpful why not give the video a thumbs up it would be great if you'd subscribe to the channel and be sure to pass this video along to other people because the QuickTime player is on literally tens of millions of computers that are running windows and uh, you want your friends to be safe while they're computing as well so thanks again for watching god bless you